All right, shalom brothers and sisters and followers of Christ. My name is Derek coming at you with another video. And the name of this video is called The Holidays, or they really the Holy Days. And um, this is a dream that I had the other day. Today is May the 6th, 2018. Uh, it's, it's, this is gonna be a short video. This is a concern about Christ and uh, a lot of people that say that's for him. Like I said in my other video, when I was telling you that I was taking into heaven for the first time that I made the other day. Um, it's a great concern that Christ loves his people, God loves his people. But it's these holidays that he um he he kind of just he kind of just scratches his head about. He's like, I, I I mean, I don't I didn't leave this planet, I didn't leave this earth telling them to celebrate uh uh these these holidays like like Halloween and um and uh you know I know he knows that um Easter is around the Passover, but he he's not he didn't they didn't call it he he does he's not telling his people to call it Easter. He's telling his people, he's telling his people to call it the Passover, you know. And uh, as far as Christmas, you know, um, you know, that that day is tied up with a lot of other gods. A lot of other gods had their birthdays on December 25th, you know. So that's a whole other video is, itself, you know. And if uh, anyone paid attention, that um, if you know who John the Baptist is, he was supposed to be a cousin of Christ. And uh, John the Baptist was actually that five months apart. And uh, if you pay attention to the Roman calendar back in the day, if you ever if you ever have a book. Or around the time when uh, John the Baptist was born, because John the Baptist, you gotta remember, John the Baptist was born first. And um, then five or six months later, Christ was born. You gotta remember, around that time John the Baptist was born, they were doing the census, the census. The census is when they count the people in a uh, city or town. They number, they want to, the, the, the uh, government, the government wants to know, the government wants to know how many people live in a household, how, how many people live in this plush town, how many people live in this city. So around John, I mean, around John's birth, Christ's uh, cousin, that had a censor. And then it said clearly in the Bible, five months after Christ was born. So that was around the springtime when John was born. So you do the math. But anyway, I had this dream that uh, Christ, first of all, if everybody know what Cinco de Mayo is, it's the day that um, apparently um, the 5th of May, where it's supposed to be a um, what what we was taught in school that uh, Mexico has claimed their independence, but that's not necessarily the truth. That's what they tell us in school. Uh, it really means um, um, ba well, basically, um, them uh, Mexico or uh, part of them coming into power. I don't think it's like an independence or some type of civil war, you know. Um, that really, but I could be wrong though. Um, it, it does have something to do with um, the, um, the the coming to power of um, the Spaniards that um, that came from Spain, you know, in their rights and stuff like that. You know, that's what we, that's what we were taught in school. But anyway, I'm not here trying to bash the holiday and what it really means. I'm pretty sure it means something in much more depth. But it's a day that Christ. He is not too fond of and he does not approve of. You know, I had this dream that I seen a lot of people they were in dresses, the women were in dresses and men were in tuxedos. Some people were sitting and eating and laughing and drinking and enjoying music. There were lots of people. I remember sitting on the hill, uh, standing on the hill and just looking at the overview of all the people singing and dancing and so forth. Uh, and so, um, I kind of just looked around and I, I looked to my left or my right, I can't remember, but I remember seeing a man. He looked like he was in distress. He looked like he was just looking like he was just look, just staring as if like um, he gave someone instructions to do something and they literally clear as day did it wrong, you know, and he just looked mad. But I looked again to where the man was and I still not realized, that's when I realized it was Christ. And he said, Derek, he said, see these people, they, they think that this day is for me, but it's not. He said, they sit here and they celebrate this day and it's not for me. And uh, they, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're partying, they're dance, but this day is not, uh, this day is not a me. He said, he said the day was actually for a demon. That's what he told me. He said, this demon, he said that this day is actually for, they're, they're celebrating a demon this day. And I, I was also told in school that Cinco de Mayo wasn't actually on the 5th of May. 
it was actually like on the fourth or the second or the third, but it was not exactly on like the fifth of May, like the fourth of July, you know. And um, I was just thinking, that's a. I mean, I've seen all kinds of videos on YouTube. People talk about these holidays are messed up and mixed up, and how the um, the calendar is mixed up and messed up, you know. I mean, but if you really for Christ though, you know, um, you would um, you would celebrate the holy days, you know, like the the unleavened bread and the, the Passover and the, um, you know things of that nature. You wouldn't celebrate like Independence Day and stuff like that. You know, this country is really not for God's people. You know, they're killing God's people. You know, they're not giving God's people what what they deserve. You know, but uh, that's the end of this video. And uh, shalom and thank you. Have a blessed one.